I think the most important thing when choosing a specialist uh, who you would refer your injured client to is credibility, number one, as a medical doctor and as a specialist, recognition in their prospective fields, uh, accreditation um, on uh, medical boards, things of that nature, and uh, also effectiveness as treating doctors. What is their rate of success? How much will they help your client to recover? Because our aim is not only to recover a monetary uh, recompense to the client, but also to make sure that they get the best treatment possible and hopefully recover as nearly back to normal as possible. Uh, since I first started practicing over 30 years ago, uh, I have met many doctors, I have dealt with many doctors, and um, I have found that many cases can be ruined from the inception if you choose a doctor who does not have credibility. Because first, you have to have credibility with the insurance company if you're attempting to settle the case prior to trial. And if the case does not settle, you have to have credibility with the jury. And if you have a doctor come in who does not have the qualifications, who does not have the education, uh, who does not have the accreditations, who does not have the uh, staff privileges at, at uh, reputable hospitals, uh, then the jury will tend to accept the testimony of the defense doctor who uh, is true is hired only to testify but uh, will most likely be well qualified because insurance companies have a lot of money to pay uh, for this type of testimony. So um, over the years I have met and um, become acquainted with the, uh, the credibility of uh, many fine specialists, uh, either neurosurgeons or orthopedic surgeons, podiatric foot surgeons, uh, plastic surgeons, many, many, many fields of expertise that may come in um, to be valuable in a particular case when a client comes into my office, depending on their injury or injuries. The important thing when uh, choosing a specialist is uh, not only credibility and effectiveness, but also will they work with our office and with our client to give them the best of treatment and complete treatment, including surgery if necessary, uh, to help them recover. Uh, most clients that come into my office, uh, unfortunately, do not have health insurance and uh, do not have the financial means to uh, even get the kind of specialized treatment that they need, let alone surgery and related costs. I have uh, made associations with uh, many specialists who will wait until the case is settled and, or until the judgment is rendered by the jury before they will seek payment. And this is important in cases where you have uh, terrible fractures of, of bones, herniated discs in the neck or in the lower back uh, where you have scarring uh, or other injuries of this nature uh, where treatment could cost tens of thousands of dollars and surgery if it's involved and uh, rehabilitation following surgery could cost over a hundred thousand dollars sometimes. So we have doctors who wait until the case is settled uh, until they are paid they will work with us uh, with an understanding of how much was recovered uh, so they can uh, adjust their bill so the client can get compensation in their pocket. We also are working with um, several surgery centers who do outpatient procedures uh, and these procedures alone can be thirty, forty, fifty thousand uh, dollars $50,000. We have uh, anesthesiologists and surgery centers who will uh, wait until a case is settled uh, to give a course of epidurals for uh, back pain and um, these again can be ten to fifteen thousand dollars each uh, injection and usually there's a series of injections. Uh, we also have hospitals that we have arrangements with who will also wait until a case is settled uh, and they will even do spinal surgery and um, uh, neck surgery, things of this nature uh, that uh, otherwise would be unavailable uh, to a client. Um, if a client does not get this kind of treatment, 
often they do not recover uh, at all. I think a special thing um, in, in our line of business and especially with my office is uh, because of the professional relationships we have with uh, specialists in the medical field and with uh, hospitals, outpatient facilities, if a recovery is not made, then they will generally write off their bill, uh, which means the client doesn't have to pay for it. Uh, as far as expert testimony, if a case goes to trial or to litigation, my office covers those costs. So if an expert is retained to testify, uh, such as an orthopedic surgeon uh, who may charge up to $10,000 or more a day to testify in trial, my office pays the doctor and uh, this money does not come out of the pockets of the uh, client up front and uh, I seek reimbursement from the client only if the case is settled or we make a recovery at trial. So the investment in time and money uh, in cases that are litigated uh, and go to trial is made by my office. We don't ask the client for a cent. Uh, we don't get any fees and we don't ask for any costs even though they may be twenty, thirty thousand dollars or more in uh, taking a case to trial unless uh, we recover for the client. Even though I, I have uh, never lost a, a trial, uh, there are uh, cases which other attorneys have tried which go to trial and they spend many, many, many dollars and uh, the uh, case goes south, so to speak, and uh, there's a defense verdict. If that were to happen in a particular case uh, that my office handles, we would cover all of the costs, all of the court costs, the expert fees. Uh, they would not have to generally pay back uh, doctors who render treatment. Uh, but rest assured that when someone comes in, in my office and I accept their case, uh, that means I've made a decision that their case is strong enough uh, on a um, on the merits liability, of the merits of the standpoint of the case, and uh, injury standpoint that it is worth making the investment. Uh, I think the most important thing is to be honest with the client uh, when you feel that their case is not strong enough either uh, on its merits or in an injury standpoint to make uh, a great investment in the case.